All right, so I ran into a problem, a uh, problem that I shouldn't have done. Um, I have four of the Thrunite 3400s, and I've put those in the Thrunite TM30 Mini. Uh, the flashlight, um, after having it on for a while, the red light came on, stating that the batteries were kind of dead. Um, the output dropped to the lower mode, which, which was kind of stupid. I left the flashlight on, and the flashlight finally shut off. I was like, oh, okay, well, the batteries are dead. I took all four of the batteries out, and I put them on the um, 18650 charger over here, the uh, LUC V4. And all four, well, these three batteries were stating 3.5 volts, which um, these three batteries instantly came on the charger and said they were at 3.5 volts, which is below the over-discharge rate. Um, it quickly shot to 3.6 volts, uh, but the protective circuit board is supposed to kick in at 3.6 volts. It did for all four. However, this one was a dead one. Um, I, I read articles, and I've seen it on candle power forms. Sometimes, in some cases, some 18650s, when the protective circuit board kicks in, uh, it's, it's pretty much off forever. It shuts the battery down, uh, and it shuts it down for good. This one would not come on. It was actually showing an error sign. The battery was upside down, or the battery was flashing, basically saying error on this particular battery, and the voltage would not come up whatsoever, which basically means I over-discharged this battery too much. Um, when your battery indicator comes on or your flashlight starts getting dim, take them out of the flashlight and put them on the charger. Um, it's not worth it. These batteries are expensive. You guys know how expensive they are. So, I mean, these flashlights, they're regulated. So, because these flashlights, all these modern-day high-dollar flashlights, they're regulated. So, when the output starts to decrease, when you actually notice an output decrease, then it's definitely time to change your batteries out. Um, so, because this charger wouldn't charge that battery since it was showing complete error and dead cell, uh, since the circuit kicked in and uh, shut the battery down, um, I actually found an alternative uh a whole different way of fixing that problem. Um, usually that is kind of almost an unfixable problem, but this only works if you have a flashlight with an integrated charge port, like this one. So if you've got a flashlight like the MH20 or some of the flashlights that have integrated charge ports, put that battery in there and charge it only at half an amp. If, if all you have is a one amp, that's fine, but this is a half amp. Uh, so it seems to be working. Um, it wasn't charging on that charger whatsoever. Uh, but it is now charging inside this flashlight. So I may not fully charge it in this flashlight. I'll probably take the battery out and uh, stick it in that charger back over there. So of course, one thing you have to remember, one thing that you do know if you're a flashlight enthusiast or you understand these batteries, um, that was my fault. It was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Um, that's never happened to me before. Um, cool thing about lithium ion chemistry is you do not have to, there is no memory effect. There is absolutely no memory effect inside lithium ion batteries. Um, lithium polymer, I believe, is the same way. Uh, because there's no memory effect, um, you can use the flashlight for 30 minutes and take it off the charger and put it on the charger. And uh, it can either go from 4.1 to 4.2, uh, 4 volts to 4.2, um, any of those voltages, it doesn't matter. So you don't have to fully deplete these batteries, and um, you can just use them a little bit if you want to and put them on the charger. Uh, of course, as you know, lithium ion is the only chemistry that doesn't have memory effect, like uh, nickel cadmium. Uh, and nickel metal hydride is not as bad as nickel cadmium. Uh, but lithium, of course, is the best. So uh, because there's no memory effect, you should never deplete these batteries fully to where the circuit board kicks in. Um, and, of course, you guys know all know that. But now that I've experienced it firsthand, uh, this is the first time one of my batteries actually uh, kicked in and shut the cell down. And so I probably won't let that happen again. But just keep an eye on your batteries, and, uh, of course, you guys should know that. Um, but, like I said, if you have a dead cell and your charger is not charging that battery um, and you've <laughs> depleted it or discharged it too much, uh, just stick it in a flashlight with an integrated charge port and it should fix the problem. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised and shocked that it actually worked, but it does, so now you guys know. Alright, so this was the battery that came, whoops, hold on, my, my microphone's messed up on my phone, you guys know that, sorry. Alright, so this is the battery that came out of the, uh, let me set this back to half amp. Um, this is the battery that uh, came out of the MH20. So let's see what happens when you do that. There we go. Problem is fixed. Wow, 3.4 volts. Yeah, 3.4 volts.
It's definitely way below discharge voltage or PCB discharge voltage. But now you guys know how to fix the problem. Hopefully if it works. I keep hearing a lot of things about this 9 volt battery thing where you touch a 9 volt battery to, to, the, uh, to the dead cell. But I'm not sure if I'd ever try that. But So hopefully it works for you guys. If this ever happens to you guys, if it works, uh, just let me know in the comments. If it doesn't work for you, then maybe it might just be a fluke thing and it works for me only. <laughs> I don't know. But definitely works for me so it should work for you guys as well I know you guys are gonna beat me up for saying this but uh, this is for only you uh, this is for only the 1% of people that don't really know much about lithium ion chemistry lithium ion chemistry it's literally the most powerful battery chemistry in the world I mean I can't think of anything more powerful than lithium that's that's why the brightest flashlights in the world use them that's why planes use them that's why uh, the <laughs> that's why the Tesla p85d uses it lithium is just a monster chemistry and it's very beautiful it's very powerful I think I'm obsessed with lithium. I think I really am. Um, <laughs> you guys probably are too. Right, so enough blabbing about pointless and meaningless information that every one of you guys probably already know. Uh, but that's once again for you one percenters that don't really know. Uh, there you go. So that may fix the problem. So if your battery uh, over discharges too much, then uh, now you guys know how to fix the problem.